You ready? You ready? Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. We have uh, a statement on the issue, on the situation in Sondu market in Nyanza and also the, about the Kenyan mission to Haiti. This statement is going to be read on our behalf by Honorable Eugene Omaro. Okay. In parts of the country and the mayhem currently underway in Sondu. While the latest eruption of insecurity at the border of Kisumu and Kericho County, where scores of people have been killed and many injured in Sondu, huge sections of the country are actually under siege. Al-Shabaab is having a field day killing our people, including soldiers in Lamu and in far-flung areas like Wajia and Mandera. Insecurity also continues to rage in sections of the North Rift, causing significant pain and loss of life. Let's make no mistake, the violence and mayhem in Sondu is not an ordinary disagreement between villagers. Big names are behind this violence. They include leaders and politicians from neighboring counties and in the national government. We view these latest incidents in Sondu as part of a long, off and on history of violence instigated by politicians who have on numerous occasions incited the different communities against each other and local leaders who have been implicated in these activities. The apparent bias, indifference, and helplessness of security officers in the area as violence has raged on clearly indicate that big names are behind the fighting and the mayhem in Sondu. In particular, we are demanding investigations to be carried out against individuals who have been implicated as sponsors of the violence, who include the Kericho County Governor, Dr. Eric Mutai. These leaders must abandon the expansionist tendency through which they are seeking to extend the boundary of Kericho County with a view of claiming Sondu Town. We are convinced that this violence is being sponsored by local politicians who have set their claim on part of Kisumu County. We strongly condemn the senseless murders prevailing in Sondu. We are also concerned over the mistrust that this violence is breeding between residents that is now taking a political dimension. We wish to assure the innocent residents of Sondu from either side of the border that we are in solidarity with them. We urge the residents to put down their arms and to embrace each other as brothers and sisters who have lived alongside each other for years. We are also appealing to the residents to resist and reject those inciting them to acts of violence and lawlessness that brings no value to the actors and the victims. We are calling on the government to immediately bring the violence to an end and to provide round-the-clock security to the residents of this area. The people behind this violence and mayhem 
must be identified, arrested, and made to account for their actions. We are concerned over the negative impact of this violence on livelihoods and economic activities in the area. Consequently, we are asking the government to provide support to the families that have been affected by this violence. Such support should include footing the medical bills for those who have sought treatment and helping with burials of those who have lost their dear ones. Beyond Sondu, we are concerned over the increase in terrorist activities in parts of the coast, particularly Lamu in Northeastern. Just about two weeks ago, several KDF soldiers aboard a Kenya Air Force chopper died in a crash within the terror prone Boni Forest in Lamu. We believe this was an Al Shabaab attack. Attacks by Al Shabaab militants have become commonplace in Mandera and other parts of northern Kenya, with victims being police officers, teachers, farmers, ordinary residents going about their daily routines. The government has so far failed to address various incidents of insecurity in the North Rift counties of Baringo, Elgeo Marakwet, and Laikipia. In these places, armed groups, bandits, and cattle rustlers continue to conduct raids on neighboring communities, destroy property, and cause massive displacement of people. These attacks are unacceptable and must come to an end. They paint a picture of a nation that is losing the battle to gangs and terrorists. We therefore find it strange while the country is clearly grappling with internal security problems, the Ruto administration is taking 1,000 police officers to Haiti to fight a war that is not of our own. On a territory that is far away, over 12,000 kilometers from Kenya. We cannot send 1,000 of our young men and women in uniform in harm's way over 12,000 kilometers away without the people of Kenya through their elected representatives in parliament having a say as to whether this is in our national strategic security interest or it's motivated by other interests. In this regard, we call upon parliament to immediately summon the CS of Interior. Now that his defense counterpart appeared before the Senate yesterday, and he actually ducked this question. He passed the buck to his interior uh, counterpart. We want him to explain to Parliament and, by extension, the nation the following issues. One, why are we sending our officers to Haiti to protect Haitians while the security situation at home is deteriorating? and they are unable to protect lives and property of Kenyans in Sondu, in the North Rift, in Northeastern, in Lamu, and at the coast against gangs, cattle rustlers, bandits, and the resurgent Al-Shabaab terrorists who are slaughtering Kenyans day and night.